Life is fleeting and often cruel, and as humans, we're predisposed to take for granted the blessings we receive and live miserable lives full of loss and grief. <laughs> what Rhett means is that sometimes fast food chains suddenly discontinue items and he really just misses the McRib. <laughs> Mythical chef Josh has scoured the internet to faithfully recreate to the best of his ability actual McDonald's food that existed but has since been discontinued. So listen up, Ronald, cause we're gonna travel back in the McTime machine <laughs> and figure Mc out if these should be McBrock, McBack. You just said McTime machine. I know it is. I like that. Okay, first up we had McDonald's onion nuggets. Yes, this was a thing. Introduced in the 1970s, these weird little lumps were made out of diced onion blobs that were breaded and fried. Uh, we couldn't find a commercial for this, but we found a couple of old school ads. Look what's new for you. Onion nuggets. Yeah. I'm willing to bet that these probably contain more chicken than an actual current chicken nugget. No, it's 100% white okay. meat, man. Don't you okay. listen to the ads? That's true. It's also only served from 4 p.m. to 9 p.m. That's weird, so there's like a limited window. You gotta get it in and get your onion Supply nugget. Supply and demand. Bring that back while you're at it. Anyway, we're not oh gonna gosh. taste that. Don't spill we, your what water. We did, I know I don't like a lot of things. I know I don't like a lot of things. I don't like coconut. I don't like Oreos. <laughs> I don't like cotton candy. I don't like bananas, it's hard for me to eat them. Ooh, I just don't like seaweed at all. I don't like turkey. Well, I don't like punch. I don't like blue cheese or Worcestershire. <laughs> I don't love marshmallows. The I problem. don't like minty stuff. Really? I don't like licorice. You heard me. I hate butter beans. Now, I don't love pretzels either. I am not a fan of duck. I don't like eggs benedict. I don't really like salt and vinegar. Yeah, I don't like wasabi. I don't like cherry flavored stuff. I don't like olive. I don't like the taste of a tomato. But one thing I really do like. Onion rings. I like, no, onions in general. Onions in general? But onion rings, I'll still find a way to complain about those because when you bite them, oh, you bite, I mean, the whole onion strings out of the ring. Not so with these. We have the iconic McDonald's fried apple pie. It, it was introduced in 1968 as McDonald's first dessert item. But right now, let's take a McTrip to the Mc1971 ad campaign that introduced a hellscape known as McDonald Land, <laughs> where little kids never come back again. Take a long friend and grab a hold of Ronald's hand. Follow Ronald McDonald through the land of apple pie tree. Yes, uh, McDonald Land has since closed, but it has been featured on several episodes of Daylight. <laughs> Pull these things in, buddy. It's, it's catchy. It's very catchy. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so we got the baked apple pies here and we got the fried over here. So we here. wanted to do a I'll side by one. side. I wanted to do a side by side here. Oh my goodness. Now you might be wondering, how did we get hold of a fried apple pie? Yeah, but the only place in America Downing. you can get one is right down there and down. We went down to Downey. I'm gonna taste the baked one first. I definitely remember these. The only thing that can ruin an apple pie is knowing that it used to be fried. Mm -hmm. How much better is it? Just a point that Hawaii is in the U.S., but it's just not part of the continental US. U.S. For all the fans who are about to comment that, thank you. Thank you. I'm all about the continental U.S. I thought I said continental, but I'm just thinking it all the time. I didn't. The, the thing about the apple, the, the fried one, you may not think this is good, but when you bite into one end, it's like hollow. Yeah. You gotta go all the way, like halfway down, just to get to the apple part, but you don't care because you got trans fat. Ronald bites the end off of this. What does he do with all that space? He hides. Contraband. I'm glad you said contraband. Take yourself back to the 1960s. Counterculture was booming, free love was abounding, and the Dole Company, which had cruelly overthrown the Aboriginal Hawaiian monarchy decades earlier, had finally colluded with the U.S. government to secure Hawaii as the last state added to the Union. So, Dole pineapples were popular. Introduced in 1962, the Hula Burger was meant to add an exotic twist and a non-meat alternative for Catholics observing Lent to the menu. You had to be blonde to order it. There are lots of lawsuits. <laughs> Oh my gosh, look. There's a little cubby hole for your contraband. <laughs> you like finding holes and thinking about what you could put in them, don't you? No, 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 no. This is on last the one. Look, 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 look. I removed the, the pineapple and it left a little cheese dollop. Maybe they should bring it back just based on the excitement that it causes you. McDonald's fries have always been some of the best fries oh, yeah. on the fast food market, but allegedly they used to be even bester because pre-1990 they were cooked in beef tallow, which is 
purified beef fat. So let's dive back into the hellhole that leads to McDonald land and watch another ad. Time for McDonald's French fries. The fry guy. Get back those fries, guys. <laughs> oh, the fry guys are really thriving after BuzzFeed. <laughs> <laughs> it just occurred to me, are you dressed like the Hamburglar? <laughs> you figured it out. Where's your hat and your mask, man? In you the were back. Like, He's the Hamburglar. Ah, he blew my cover. <laughs> I love a fun commercial about a living creature who we kill and then rip apart, right. who's trying the best he can to prevent his species genocide. Yeah. Makes you hungry, doesn't it? Yeah. Mm, let's get into it. Well, it smells kind of like the sea. But it's actual lobster, right? Uh, I, I'd like you guys to taste it before you ask any questions. <laughs>